Hello, everybody. My name is Alexandra Zadek, and I am your host today for Talk About It Tuesday, where we talk about all things the arts and the people who love them. I am here today with the amazing, talented, gorgeous English over here. Oh, yes, there you are. <laughs> so why- Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited for you to be here. Uh, so English is a dancer, and that is all I'm going to give you because she is going to give her introduction. So tell, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? All right. So I, as um, she mentioned, I'm a dancer. Um, I mainly uh, dance in the style of contemporary jazz and hip hop, but I'm always wanting to try new things, go to different classes because we're always learning, right? Um, but I actually started off as a competitive gymnast um, when I was six, and I did that up until the end of high school. Um, so it was a bit of a change, uh, turnaround going into dance when I got here to college, but I have loved it so much. Um, I started off kind of self-taught, I guess you would say, um, and just kind of grew um, from there. But yeah, I love dance and everything. like most of my schedule is dance and I don't mind it because it's, you know, you do what you love to do. It's your passion. So yeah, I definitely enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. If you're, if you're obsessed with it, you're going to work on it as much as you can. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's cool. You said that it was a change because you did gym, the gymnastics training for the Olympics. I remember hearing that when I stage managed the dance show and I flipped out because I was like, oh my gosh, a talented athlete has entered the room. <laughs> so how I said the transition, yeah. yeah, he said the, the transition was different. And a lot of people actually, um, compare gymnastics to dance because there are similar, uh, styles and some versions of gymnastics. So what was your specific style of gymnastics? Because I know that there's some that's more dance style, some that's, uh, poles and hoops and all those things so <laughs> yeah so there's, <laughs> there's artistic gymnastics and there's rhythmic gymnastics rhythmic is the one you'll see with the balls and the ribbon and all that uh -huh. um and they're like super flexible it's insane um but i did artistic gymnastics and in that you have your power gymnasts which are like hardcore tumblers and then you have your more artistic dancing gymnasts which i guess was me like anytime I went to a meet they'd be like you're such a beautiful dancer like <laughs> so I guess this was just <laughs> from the beginning I meant was meant to, to be a dancer but yeah so I did meant to be <laughs> I did beam vault floor and bars mm -hmm. and um so it's definitely like you said like there's definitely similarities um which helped me in my transition but going from having to always have pointed feet in the four apparatuses and you need to do this and that to flex feet are okay you know in, in certain dance styles like flex feet is you know a thing so like that was different for me and so many other things like technicalities and stuff um but yeah but i've enjoyed the transition it's been nice so far that's so cool yeah i'm sure i'm sure it's a little bit more lax in terms of of that whole pointed feet thing and the sure, the technicality sure. <laughs> of it you know um and so now that you do dance is that is that your major what's your major because i know you're still in school yeah so i'm currently studying um exercise science at nova southeastern university oh. yes and i minor in dance um so yes I participate in the dance shows. I'm a vice president of a dance club here at Infinite Motion. Um, and so different things working in that. I also work with a dance company, um, Alonso will create a dance company. <laughs> and we're working on the different projects as well, um, different video shoots. Um, but yes, I'm studying exercise science to go into sports medicine and maybe even eventually dance medicine. Oh, that's awesome. So with you, you had mentioned a couple of your specific favorites uh, in dance style, but I have seen you do improvisational dance before. Yes. Now, what is the thought or lack of thought or feeling going into doing any, any time you do the improvisational dance? 
I remember I used to hate improvisation with a passion. Um, I took dance improv the class and I remember just the first day I was like, I'm dropping out, that's it. Um, but I, I, grew to, I grew to love it. It's a love-hate relationship now, but um, definitely going into any sort of improvisation for any style, I have to remember just not to think too much. That's definitely one of my things is to just overthink everything. Um, so you definitely have to let go of that and just kind of let your body take over um, so that you're not putting too much thought, okay, what goes next? Okay, how do I put my arm here? You just kind of let whatever happens, happen. Um, mm -hmm. And you can really make something beautiful out of it. Yeah, yeah. How, so what, when you dance, depending obviously on the genre or style, what is the feeling while you're dancing? Like you said, depending on the, the genre or style of dancing, but I think the main feeling would be joy, like an overall joy that I'm just able to do it in the first place um, and able to, one, create something, you know, beautiful or impactful, and then two, to um, impact that with others, like to invite them in on this journey, basically, mm -hmm. of the story I'm telling, whatever it may be. Um, and to share that because it can really impact someone uh, when you share your art with other people. Um, so I think that's the main overall feeling is joy. Um, no matter what emotion I'm trying to depict or what story I'm telling, that joy definitely comes into my dance. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's really fun to watch. I mean, I last time I danced actually was with Alana in her class. I took a jazz one, but the, <laughs> I have not, I'm not a professional, I'm not anything, but watching you guys work, I mean, like actually work during rehearsals and then to see the final performance, the feeling I get while watching you guys is just this, oh, wow, they just are noodles but like beautiful noodles because they there's such a flow to it and they there's so much trust that goes behind it um and have have you guys have you ever worked with a partner yeah so i actually i recently did a duet with avi who's aviana palmer um for the dance work show last semester um so that was really nice working with her it's it's so like and choreographing for yourself or improving by yourself is great because, you know, you're just working with yourself. But when you have that opportunity to bounce back ideas and creativity with other people, it's really nice. Um, so, and then I've also done a duet with um, another uh, student here, a former student here um, for the Stewies at NSU. Um, so that was nice as well. But like I said, like bouncing off the creativity and the ideas and having that other person there, you have so many other things to do when there's another person um in your space yeah yeah that's so cool yeah it's uh, watching especially uh one of alana's pieces where everyone was piled on top of each other i think that was the last one i saw of hers and i was like oh my gosh they all have to support each other <laughs> <laughs> but it was so it was just so yeah, it definitely takes that that support and that trust yeah, that was, that was just so cool to watch. It's always so cool to see that and to see it happen in front of you. And you all still have these perfectly serene faces in, in the dance that are just so cool. It's, it's, a, it's a whole act because you guys, are, you guys are not only technically having to pay attention to what you do, but you're also in the moment, you're having to act through it as well. Did you ever find yeah. that there was a, a break in the point of like, was it ever difficult to, for you to transition into also having to focus on emotion? I think that's probably one of the, the biggest transitions was emotion because, you know, in gymnastics, it's, there's not really much of that. I mean, maybe you get floor um, and you smile at the judges or something, but there's not really much of that. You know, I was very, um, to myself and um, just everything was in order. Um, but with dance, you have to let those emotions out. So that was definitely a big change for me. Um, and not only trusting others, but trusting yourself to know that you can do that. And to just, like I said, not overthink it, not let the thoughts take over, but to just 
go into it because you also don't want it to look forced, you know? Yeah. So it's definitely finding that balance um, and just, yeah, it, it was something, but I'm <laughs> hoping I got it a little better now. <laughs> No, you're 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 an amazing dancer. You you do so well when when you're up there and when you know, I watched the duet that you did and it was the flow of it because you guys kind of interlocked every once in a while and there was such um all I could think of is flow because that's what it is. It's just this rhythm of a pattern and it it was just so beautiful to watch and it's so cool to see how how people can move like that you know and it's it's amazing to have that version of a visual art and a performance art so you guys are art <laughs> are art <laughs> so, since you're studying dance you've had to study a little bit of the history of it um so yes what um, have you have you found anyone that you've thought like, wow, I really want to search them more or anyone you've, you found that's been interesting through your studies? I know Alvin Ailey has been a, um, a very big part of my dance journey um, and learning from him and looking at and being inspired. Um, so that's one dancer, but, um, but other than that, no. Um, don't tell my dance history professor. <laughs> But how is it? How has it been studying it? Because that's yeah, a deep dive. It is. It's definitely a deep dive going into um, all the different past dancers that um, were the the conductors, the the founders of certain movements and stuff like that, um, and all the different styles. Like it's it's a lot, but it's so um, it's interesting to learn about. It definitely is because it also impacts your dancing and like. Um, which styles you want to focus on because there's so many different styles and movements out there. Um, like within modern, there's so many different um, yeah, types of modern dance. So um, it's a lot, but it's interesting for sure. Um, and I think with that modern dance, like Alvin Ailey, um, I remember watching Revelations and just being so like in awe, like like history in your face and it was it was great so it was definitely inspiring for sure as a dancer to have those people come before you and um make those those statements and um those changes within the dance world yeah yeah it's so cool and and everyone's finding out new ways to do everything i mean yeah. augusto <laughs> was teaching augusto was teaching uh, brass dance and yeah. i took that class and that was hard. That was so hard. But it was so, it was just so interesting. Like I couldn't get that out of my head. It's probably also my actor's perspective of like, I am yeah. a dancer now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And speaking of different styles and just like adapting, I remember taking the World Dance Course uh, a year or so ago, Keitha Carey, and she has her own adaptive version called Carib Funk. And so it combines um, like Caribbean dancing, ballet, I believe some modern and fitness. When I tell you that class kicked my butt. Um, <laughs> it was so like, it was great to learn. And I came out that for sure a, a more evolved dancer in person, but it's so different learning other styles and other teachers ways of teaching those styles. So it's, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's so cool. I find dance so cool. Wish I was more um, inclined to dance, you know, but it's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a losing, <laughs> losing topic. Yeah, this is, this is what you're going to get. <laughs> Anyone can um, dance. What do you mean? <laughs> I, hey, hey, I don't know. I don't know how I did it. But Augusto and Alana, they drilled it and I did things that I didn't think my body could do. <laughs> and it was like, I don't know how it's happening, but it's happening. And I'm holding this pose and I don't know how. <laughs> yes. I feel like it's their magical professor Juju just like all over me, just saying, you can right. do it. And then I can. And you are dancers now. Right? That's what it feels like. It feels like magic <laughs> when it happens. And Alana's like, I told you you could do it. What? 
So is there is there a specific exercise? I like to ask this because I like to learn new exercises, but is there a specific exercise or warm up or something that you find is like your favorite one to do? Even if it's so random, but like any specific warm up that you like? I actually like to improv for my warm up. So anytime I go into the studio or if I'm about to make choreography, I improv for my warm up so I just put my, my playlist on shuffle and just start moving. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah get the creative juices flowing. <laughs> Gotta get the creative juices flowing. <laughs> Is there uh, anything that you think that people should know about the arts or any anything that you think should be talked about more involving the arts? I think that artists should be appreciated more for sure. Um, I think it's it's gotten somewhat better as time has gone on, um, but just the appreciation for the arts, but also the artists, because mm -hmm. um, we put so much time and effort and uh, creativity into what we do in order to share it with others. Um, so I think that's definitely something artist appreciation. Um, but yeah, other than that, like world issues is like art we're able to use that to talk about those topics and to bring awareness to certain things. So I think it's, it's definitely cool and it, um, for different artists to share their creativity that way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, art is education. That's one of the main purposes of art. Yeah, so, yeah. so I think that's awesome. And uh, now it's for one of my fun questions. If I saw you randomly across the street mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my gosh, who's that? What's something I can't tell just by looking at you? Okay. <laughs> um, I love to write poetry and songs. So that's something that a lot of people don't know or expect. Um, but yeah, I have a whole vault <laughs> of just um, unreleased things, um, spoken word and poetry and stuff. Yeah. My gosh, <laughs> so much in one book. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. <laughs> one book. That's amazing. That's awesome. I can't wait for English, the poet, to come out of nowhere. <laughs> just one day, it's just like flashes of light and smoke and fog, <laughs> and then a tiger, and then all of a sudden, it's you with your poetry. I mean, that's great. I might, I might use that. Hey, <laughs> if you've got the budget, I mean, <laughs> you might as well. Well, I want to ask you, I know that was my last question, but I do want you to uh, tell people what are things that they can either see you on, ways to keep up with you. And these things will also be linked down below in the description uh, so that you can find English very quickly and keep up with her journey because you're gonna want to, because she's amazing. <laughs> um, so my Instagram is English underscore underscore Denise. Um, and then I'm also a part of the dance company, as I mentioned before, Alonzo Will Creative Dance Company. You can also find them on Instagram. I'm also working with another company called RA Creative Dance Company. We have um, a few um, artist nights we'll be working with. We're working with a local Miami artist, Pablo Grand. Um, so you may see me in a couple music videos. Um, <laughs> and also working with Razors at Shark Talent at NSU. We have a shark showcase coming up in April, April 2nd. Um, so you can go to, I believe, pages Shark Talent, <laughs> NSU Shark Talent. It'll be linked down below. Um, but for updates on that, it'll be virtual. Anyone can come and see beautiful art of all kinds. Yeah, I love the virtual little shows that you guys have been doing because I'll like order pizza or Chinese food and then just sit on the couch and turn it on and mirror it to the TV. It's so much fun to watch it like that. Oh, uh, and and one day it will be fun to be back in the theater, of course, because yeah, artsy people we are very emotionally inclined to need others, so <laughs> <laughs> it will be nice. Uh, but I want to thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. It's really awesome getting a chance to talk to you and pick your brain about all the stuff that you've been working on. Of course, thank you for having me. It's been such an honor. I've had such 
a joy, joyful time talking to you and catching <laughs> up with you. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Uh, so thank you guys so much for joining us on this Talk About It Tuesday. I want everyone to remember to check out the description down below so you can keep up with English. There is also some websites that can educate you on things going on around the world at this time. Uh, and if you think that there is anything that we should add to that list, please email us at info at thisisimprov.com. Don't forget that This Is Improv also has online classes. So go to www.thisisimprov.com to sign up today for improvisational classes, for writing, for corporate team building, or improv for life. That's www.thisisimprov.com. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful Taco Tuesday. Eat some tacos, have some fun, and stay safe. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>